I am Sanjay Dhande, presently Chief Mentor of Avantika University and uh, an educationist. Uh, earlier, I have spent a lot of time at IIT Kanpur. My field of interest is design. And over the period, I have also been thinking about education. So if you look at the dysfunctional education in India, and if you look at what can be done, according to me, we should create an atmosphere where the students enjoy learning and design thinking based education is my philosophy. And that is what I have tried to implement in Avantika University. And as a part of that education model, we are trying to conduct the workshops for the professionals who have missed the boat in some sense uh, of the university. And the philosophy of design thinking and how it impacts different professions, how it impacts an individual, how it impacts education is what I am for at the moment. This is a workshop meant for all walks of life people who are professionals, who may not have an opportunity now to go back to the university. However, in your profession, if you want to enhance your efficiency, if you want to become more productive, if you want to become a better human being, if you want to have more empathy for all the works and the people around you, you have to retrain yourself, you have to re-engineer yourself, or you have to retool yourself with design thinking. So the idea is that the philosophy for which Avantika University has been established and the philosophy Avantika University tries to project needs to be propagated in the society. My name is Sanjay Jain. I uh, was a student of Indian Institute of Technology. I did my civil engineering uh, in 79 to 84 and then during the time when I was doing my civil engineering I was to be not very happy with the way engineering was happening and I was not getting um, too much out of it you know. so I, I had this creative uh, uh, intuitive way of learning which was not happening in engineering and I was also interested in theater in, in a lot of creative expression. So I used to always visit uh, Industrial Design Center, which was in the same campus, you know. So go in, it's like a peeping tom, checking out what is happening, and so get really excited about it. And that is the time when I decided that I'll go ahead. And also, because my father was a painter, I used to be his uh, errand boy, you know, running short, short errands for him. Um, so that must have put that seed uh, of uh, creativity or making things. And then uh, I moved into Industrial Design Center, did my Industrial Design, Master of Design, Industrial Design. And uh, after that, I worked for almost 20 years in various organizations as designer, a design professional, uh, starting with Upshawn in Lucknow, uh, and then uh, Wipro, I joined as a head of product design. And almost from scratch, we built the, the, the organization called Wipro consumer care and lighting from scratch up, you know, build the team, build the whole ecosystem. Like, it was almost like a design professional and also design evangelist, you know. Right. So both work together. Uh, and then I almost worked for 20, 10 years there and then moved to Bajaj Electricals in Mumbai, worked for three years. And then I was looking for an institution for my daughter who, was, who had a creative bent of mind. And then this MIT Institute of Design came in Pune, and it was again at the at the uh, starting stage. So there is a time, uh, you know, I was invited that could I come and join the academics. So I took a massive U-turn from industry to academics, and uh, it was a great challenge because my daughter also was joining that institute, and I joined as a founder director of academics. So we. So it's like building the institute for your daughter. So there was right. the intrinsic motivation, you know, right. or a challenge, you know, yeah. to build for her. And she was a tough customer. <laughs> 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 so it, it, it went down like that. And then 10 years we built the brand from, uh, from almost, uh, because the MIT Pune as a trust did not have any background in design education. So it was a good learning for both the trust as well as for me and for my, for my team. So we built the, the brand for 10 years, and then uh, this Avantika University uh, was in the horizon. So I was sort of plugged out from, uh, from MIT Institute of Design, and then we, we created a team. Dr. Dande is, is, is the mentor, and, we, and the good thing is that 
we also involved students from the MIT Institute of Design at the concept stage, you know, so they became like a stakeholder. So it was a, I think it was a beautiful case of design thinking um, to be used to build a university, right. which is design centered. You know. right. So it was, a, uh, I think for me that was a good uh, challenge again, and now I'm here uh, in it completely, deeply immersed uh, in building the, the university right from scratch. So for instance here, we have got the first workshop and we have got people from management, we have got people from finance, we have got people from research, we have got people from education, we have got people from engineering, we have got people from IT, we have got people from services. So the idea is, what is common amongst them? And the common thing is the philosophy of design thinking. When you are working, you must have some basic skill sets, which we call it as the design thinking skill sets. And to train the people, to expose them to these skill sets is the part of the design thinking workshop. We plan to do it in all different cities of India and we want to show that how design thinking will impact on your lifestyles, on your profession and in, in overall education beyond the degree program. So we have two day workshop. The first day is to introduce the tools and techniques to all the participants. And the second day is to carry out a project which is related to their profession, using the tools and techniques that we have covered in the first day. Okay, for me, I think design is, is not just a professional skill, it's a life skill. You know? It's something which, is, which you need at uh, every point of time, you know, when you are sort of negotiating uh, different things in your life. You know? yeah. So it's, it's not a professional skill, it's a, it's a life skill. You know? because. Is a basic human instinct uh, to design, you know, to, to improve things and to change what is around you, your environment. So the only thing is, because it doesn't go through a rigorous process of uh, employing that ability, you know, it sort of becomes dormant. And then maybe when the children uh, have that in, 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 in a large, I mean, they are very creative, but the way they are getting school, I think the creativity gets skilled because they get sort of regimented, you know, into the right. whole process. And this is how. So when they join organization or they, they join corporates, I think it, it continues. You know, they, they keep on getting away from the basic instinct which they had and uh, you know, they, they lose on to that, that uh, intuitive way of working. You know. Antika Design Thinking Workshop, I think is, is, is the, the, the seed was sown when we wanted to spread the message of design uh, thinking across disciplines you know, because people mm, think that it is a prerogative of designers to be design thinkers, which is, which is not right. Because design, because it's a human instinct, I think it, it applies to everyone and to all the uh, disciplines, whether it's management or it's engineering or it's medical or law, it applies to every, it applies everywhere because it is the, the basic uh, uh, instinct with the, which, which you have. The whole idea of these workshops is we are not giving you knowledge. We are wanting to change your habits. We want to imbibe in you some new habits. If you can understand and if you can imbibe those new habits and change your work culture, then it will be a big difference and we will feel that design thinking workshop has achieved what it is supposed to do. And that's exactly what Avantika University is all about. And there in the Avantika University, in fact, all the courses will have an approach of teaching learning which is based on design thinking.